Hi students, welcome to the session on Helmholtz theorem. This is a very critical theorem. Let us see this now. Right? The subject we are going to study is electromagnetic field. We study about electric field and magnetic field. Right? So Maxwell uh, explained everything in terms of divergence and curl of this field. Right? But uh, the real problem arises when the field becomes divergence free and curl free right when it is becoming curl free and divergence free right at the time how can we know what is the field that is the question arises suppose let us take uh, one point p right where the divergence d is zero and uh, curl c curl is a vector i put vector so curl is zero or you can say both tends to zero, right? Divergence tends to zero and curls tends to zero. When this happens, when divergence and curl of some vector field becomes zero, it will be possible when field decays rapidly. Fine? Okay. Why when field decays rapidly, divergence and curl become zero? Because when field decays rapidly, the force will also decays rapidly. When field and force decays rapidly, the vector field doesn't have strength to rotate. So there is no rotation and it won't diverge. There is no spread, no divergence or there is no spread. Okay, we know that, right? No rotation means it is irrotational, right? It is irrotational. No spread, no divergence means it is solenoidal. Right, so that means irrotation means curl zero, solenoid means divergence zero. So at the at this scenario, how can we find what is the field source? What is the strength of the source? Right, that is what we our question. That means I, in mathematics I will explain. Let us take one vector field F. It may be either electric field or magnetic field, and we find uh, what you call divergence of the field. Let us assume delta f is equal to d and we find curl of this field del cross f is equal to c vector. Curl is a vector, I put a vector, d is a divergence, just any divergence, any curl answer will be there. Right? So, what we know from here is if I know my vector field, I can get divergence and curl. The question is if I know my divergence and curl, can I get what, what is my field? That is a question arises. It is like going from a forward transform to inverse transform in signals and system. Clear? So that is what my question. But it has, it is creating some troubles. What is the trouble? The solution we get will not be unique. Why? For example, suppose let us assume if f is equal to 0, vector field is 0. What is divergence? Divergence is delta f. Surely delta f will be 0. What about curl? Surely del cross f is also 0 because f is 0. Similarly, suppose if our f is like uh, yz x cap plus xz y cap plus xyz cap, what happens? If you take divergence and curl, it will also give 0 divergence and 0 curl. That means both the function will, both the fields will be resulting uh, curl free and divergence free that means curl is 0 divergence 0 now the question is if i know d0 and c is equal to 0 at some point p what is the source uh, field original field right whether if i want to get back my original field what is the original field whether it is uh, from this one i got this or from this one i got this this confusion arises right so, it is difficult to get unique solution. So, there is no unique solution. Right? So, but one thing will be helpful. What is that is? We know divergence and curl are full of partial differential equation. We know the divergence means del dot d. So, del means uh, dou by dou x, dou by dou y. Similarly, curl is also talking about dou by dou x, dou by dou y, like that. So, it is depending on partial differential equation. So, with 
inclusion of boundary condition boundary condition in this problem right we can get back our original field right so here only helmholtz proposed the theorem what is theorem states that is any smooth helmholtz theorem right let us take ht any smooth uh, rapidly decaying decaying field vector field can be decomposed into divergence free field divergence free means del dot some vector is zero that is solenoidal solenoidal field divergence free field and curl free field or irrotational field curl free is nothing but irrotational right so that is what is statement so in mathematical way we can express as any vector field f can be written in terms of a gradient of scalar right and curl of one vector del cos e how i am not going to give the proof but we can give the logic what is that we know that divergence free field means let us take our vector field f if it is divergence means divergence free means del dot f is equal to 0 right divergence free solenoidal field similarly curl free means del cross f is equal to 0 curl free right so we know from our null identity theorems if it is uh, any vector is divergence free means that can be written in terms of curl of another vector right similarly if any vector is curl free if, if curl of any vector is zero means that vector can be written in terms of gradient of another scalar right this minus, minus is just convention so if you are a uh, vector if your field is divergence free and curl free that can be written in terms of uh, another uh, uh, curl of another vector gradient of another scalar that's what we have written here this is any vector field can be written in terms of curl free and divergence free so this is talking about curl free if it is curl free that vector can be written in terms of this is a vector only because gradient is a vector so curl free if it is divergence free that vector can be written in terms of uh, curl of another vector so it is also vector del cross e is a vector this is also vector so it is matching right this is what uh, what you call as helmholtz theorem right so i hope uh, you understand the theorem clearly if you have any doubt please ask me in comment section thank you